Tonight, it's the National Football League. Super Bowl 55. Season number 101 of the NFL might have been the most unconventional yet, but we have made it through together, and now the eyes of the sporting world fall on us here tonight as it is the night we crown a champion. And all of us here at EA Sports so proud to bring you Super Bowl 55 from Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, and it's a matchup full of intrigue. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the AFC champion, Houston Texans, taking on the NFC champions, the New York Giants. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, what a run they've had in Houston. It's a team that seemingly has been knocking on the door the last decade or so, winning division title after division title. But this year, it finally clicked, and here they are as AFC champs. And I think it's fitting that you talked about knocking on the door, because you remember in the 70s, they talked about knocking on the door, knocking on the door, and finally they said they're going to kick that door down and get to the Super Bowl, and they never did. And this city, they're used to hosting Super Bowls. They've had three of them in the past, but neither the Oilers nor the Texans ever got there before. This is an exciting time for their fan base. And meanwhile, what a turnaround for the Giants. Try these numbers on for size CD. 6 and 10, 6 and 10, 11 and 5, 3 and 13, 5 and 11, 4 and 12. That's the last six seasons. It's been a trying year for everybody, but the tradition continues. Super Bowl 55, away we go from Tampa. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So out come the Texans for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the number one overall selection back in 05 out of the University of Utah. It's Alex Smith. And what's a quarterback's best friend? Balance? I think you're right. <laughs> I agree with you. You know, a lot of guys would say a great receiver, right? A terrific offensive line. But I agree with you, balance, because if you can run the ball effectively, that just opens things up for guys who want to throw it and gives you easier passing lanes and easier coverages to read. And they said balance will be a focus in this one. Yeah, they don't want it all just heaped on his shoulders, I don't believe. I think they want to make sure they take some of the pressure off. This Super Bowl, of course, just a huge one for this head coach. The first time he's walked the sidelines in a game of this magnitude. And you know, I might normally ask the cliche, what's going through his mind right now? But maybe the better question, CD, what do you think are the pitfalls of being a first-time head coach in this game? Well, you know it's something that he thought about, Brandon, and he had to. And he was thinking about it long before he got to this stage. As the season progressed and he saw that his team was good, if he was smart, he started to make plans right then and there. Reach out to other coaches who've been there before. Find out how they handled winning, losing, handling all the ticket situations, travel, practice, all those things. And then trust your gut, make your best decision, and put it all out there and give your team their best chance to win. The intended receiver was Thaddeus Moss. And that'll make it third down. It's now third down. And A shotgun snap for Smith. Throwing the comeback route. He's got the hook up to Thomas. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. His second catch of the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 41. Now a throw here, hauled in. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. 
Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize. Williams loses the football, and the Giants have it. It's picked up. And he's able to bring it out five yards shy of midfield to the 45-yard line. So here are the Giants under head coach Joe Judge. They will be led out by the six-foot lefty from Alabama. It's Tua Tungabailoa. And what I enjoyed in preparing for this game was talking not just with the coaching staff, but with him as well. And I found it interesting that the coaching staff sees him one way, and he sees himself an entirely different way. Yeah, one thing he said he's always working on, he's, we know he's not bad at this, but his footwork always wants to improve that, and that's something he's going to focus on here. And what was so funny, what the offensive coordinator say right off the top, he's got great footwork. Love his footwork. So this guy is never satisfied. So first and 10 now from the 30. From the gun, it's a run for Williams. Number 30. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. That's the receivers that spread the defense out, and they were able to come through with a slashing run. But to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. Second down, it's Williams, and he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Out of the gun, Smith gets this one to Hill, and he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Seven yards, the pick up there. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three at the 12-yard line. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Looking to go back to Thomas again. And it's third and short. Incomplete. Brings up third down and three. From the gun, here's Smith. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. With the first touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Texans have taken the early lead. And on the grandest of stages, with the whole world watching the Super Bowl, they come out and get the first points. I don't know how you feel about Brandon, but for me, watching the beginning of the Super Bowl, I've often wondered how come it's not just a fumble fest? How come the ball's not all over the place? The nerves, the interim in between of the two weeks waiting for the game. But this team came out and handled it, just like it was a regular season walk in the park. Terrific start. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. And the Texans take a 7-0 lead. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it results in the Texans finding the end zone. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Set to return, here's Raheem Mostert. And with a marker down, he's up just past the 25-yard line, but I think they're going to be going backwards. Let's check the call. Come on, now. Let's do this. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. 52 for Tua sets up to pass it, and that's incomplete. Brandon Ayuk, the one he was looking for. And now it's second down. He was defended by Patrick Peterson. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. He'll let this go deep for Ruggs. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Henry Ruggs, the intended receiver. And it's third down. Ruggs, incomplete. From the gun, it's Tua. And he takes a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. Intended for Clyde Edwards. -Alex. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Corey on fourth down, on is Corey Bohorquez to punt.
It'll be a 41-yard punt, given five on the return. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. Now this offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Operating from the gun, Smith. He'll get this off to Jamal Williams. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. They'll run out of the gun here, Williams. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. One yard gain. Brings up second. From the gun. Smith. The 39-yard line. Throw right side complete to Williams. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Giants nothing. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Operating from the gun, Smith. Catch here, left side, Thomas. Yeah, he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Boy, a call like this, certainly tougher to make in a Super Bowl, but they'll go for it on fourth down. They'll run for it, it's Ingram. And he's got the first as they bring him down at the 28-yard line. They only got a couple, but a couple is all that they needed as they convert on fourth. They stay on the ground. This time, it's Williams. And he'll be brought down at about the 25 after a pickup of four. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. A gain of four. It's now second and six. From the gun, Smith. Man open left side. It's Williams. Well, they try to swing it on left into the flat. Complete, but really nice open field tackle. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. The field goal, a 41-yard attempt. And Boswell's kick is good. And the lead moves to 10 zip. Makes the score Texans 10. Giants nothing. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. 10-play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line. Made them kick a field goal for the offense. 10-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive, and they're coming off a three and out, my friend. Then they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked go to so something well, else. and maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. The toss here completed to Pittman. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Tongue of Iloa working out of the gun. And that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get untracked in this one. And Bojorquez on to punt as he gets it away. 
So possession goes over here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Jamal Williams making his way back onto the field. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first, maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, try to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. This defense has really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Operating from the gun, Smith. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Three catches for him now in the first half of this Super Bowl. It's a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Tenth carry, here's Williams. And three yards there, takes him to the 45. Jamal Williams. The last run got three, now here's second and seven. At the 45-yard line. It's a pickup of three. From the gun, Smith. Open man is Hill, he's got it. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. Oh, nearly a disaster there on the check down. But they'll get it back. Intended for Jamal Williams. On second and ten, Smith. Right back to Williams, and this time he's got him. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end... Give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. Smith throwing again. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Smith's pass intended for K.J. Hill. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. From the right hash, this from 53. Boswell's kick is good. And that'll push the lead up to 13 to nothing. Makes the score Texans 13, Giants nothing. These kickers now it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right, baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. New York ready to go again offensively. And this is their third drive right now, maybe not about points, just about getting something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about until you go a couple of drives without getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first first down. Two are going to try and go quickly here. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Casey Hayward, the pro bowler, there to knock it away. Casey Hayward on the coverage. Now Tua. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And the Giants send out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. Yeah. 
So a good punt, but a solid 12-yard return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Out comes a Houston offense as they get set to take over here. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Operating from the gun. Smith caught left side, Williams. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. Smith. From the gun, he'll throw. Finding Williams once more, complete. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. From the red zone now, Smith. This will be caught just inside the 10. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. Second down from the eight. They can get a first down by reaching the five. Again, Smith. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. The intended receiver was Thaddeus Moss. And it's third and short. For the field goal, a 25-yard attempt. And Boswell's kick is good. And that's going to make this a 16-0 ball game. Giants nothing. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we've reached halftime here in Super Bowl 55. As we toss it an hour or so east of here to Orlando, it's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight, as we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. It's been a tremendous season of football, but it's not over yet. One half remains to decide who will stand on the podium with the Vince Lombardi Trophy. And to call the second half, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. First and 10 at their own 26-yard line. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. And we'll find out. And all this Texans defense, they're all charged up now. They stop him behind the line for the second straight play. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. 
And he took the contact as he was throwing it, and the ball drops incomplete. He's had trouble finding open receivers all game, CD, and that's because really there hasn't been many. This defense has been all over them. Yeah, they're one of the better defenses in the league, and every time I talk to someone around the NFL, they all say the exact same thing. They're so fundamentally sound, it's hard to execute against them. Johnson on the return. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And possession will switch, hands first and 10. Here's the Texans offense now, reading for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. Tavon Wilson up to make the tackle. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Second and nine at the 35-yard line. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. Well, if you're going to turn things around in a game like this, Charles, those are the kind of plays that you need. And I just love the way that defense rallied to the football on that one. They got the completion, but he was smothered behind the line of scrimmage. And when you make tackles like that, your whole defense is going to be fired up. Really nice play getting to the ball. The last completion actually lost a yard, so now they'll need to convert on third down. To throw is Smith. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. The screen does get him nine, but it also brings up a fourth down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Giants' drive will start from deep in their territory with a first and ten. And New York set to take the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. Tua once again here on second and ten. And finding the tight end, Hooper. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Tua looking to throw on third and two. Got his connection complete to Ruggs. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. scrimmage the 31 now on first and 10. Again they will throw it with Tonga Bailoa. Quick hitter here it's complete and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside made sure he secured the catch and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Nothing in that first half, nothing on the last drive, but they're moving now with a first and 10. Play action, now it's Tua. That's complete, it's Brandon Ayuk. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Brandon Ayuk, 52 yards. And the Giants are able to cut into this lead. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. 
The Giant offense going to stay on the field as he'll go for two. And again, it's Tonga Vailoa. And he is going to get in. But there is a flag down. Let's sort this out here. Roughing the passer. Defense. Second back. looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. Houston set to take over. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. They begin the drive with Williams. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. The ball carrier. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. A gain of five brings up second and Again, it's Williams. At the 30-yard line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. On first and 10, Smith. That's complete to Moss out of the backfield. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, people have to come up with schemes to limit him, and, and what a lot of teams do, They'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on a man-to-man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. But you know that old expression, it's not my night? It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. Yeah, every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And he's gonna be stopped here for no gain. And that's gonna take us to the end of the third quarter of play. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. From the 50, it's Smith. They'll try and set up the screen, it's complete. And down to the 20, he'll go before heading out of bounds. A gain there of 30 big ones. That's why you call a screen. You want to catch a defense over committing. Plenty of space available, and that matched up perfectly. What a convoy he got downfield to pick up big yardage on that play. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. The busy night continues for Williams. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down a nice little game. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. 10 yards on the pickup. It's second and inches. A shotgun snap for Smith. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Smith on third down. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. A 28 yard attempt. Boswell's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Makes the score Texans 19, Giants 8. A big one there. That gets
gives him a little cushion and makes it a two-score game. Yeah, but a little time off the clock, put some points on the board. It's not totally out of reach yet, but it has to feel pretty good to them right now because as a defender, you go out on the field and say, guess what? You can put some points on the board, but that won't beat us. Two a tongue of Iloa in the offense heading back out. And those numbers, they kind of tell the story of his game so far. Started off not so hot now. He's really heated up. And remember, he signed up for duty as the guy who leads the team, right? The field general, the signal caller. So when things go rocky early... And he's going to go down. The Texans come at him and able to bring him to the ground. Aaron Donald able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. How about that, partner? His second sack of the game, and that puts him in some pretty good company. 17 guys have had two sacks in the previous 52 Super Bowls, but only three have had the record number of three sacks in this game. And we've got the list here. If he gets another one and everyone behaves nicely, we might just list those out for him. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. From the gun, it's Tua. He'll find Clyde Edwards-Alaire. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Complete to Clyde Edwards Eler. It's the a Giants on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third down and 12. And that will be incomplete. If they're going to have a shot in this Super Bowl, they're going to need this one on fourth down. Tua on fourth down. And no, it's incomplete. The Giants go on fourth, but come up empty. And the Texans take over an excellent field position. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. A throw left side to start the drive is complete. And out of bounds right around the 20. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. The ball resting on the 20. Here's second and six. From the gun, here's Smith. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Brings up third down and six yards to go. On third down, here's Williams. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. He lost two, and it brings up four. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Now it's Chris Boswell on for the field goal try. And this a 39-yard attempt. And Boswell's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So yet another field goal to end the drive. That has been a very common theme. He's now hit five of them in this game. Yeah, Brandon, as an offense, you hate that you've had to call on your kicker so often, but you have to love the fact that time and time again, he's come through. First and 10 at their own 24-yard line. And here comes the Giants offense back out onto the field. And we're at the time of this Super Bowl where, look, they need points. And they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and 10. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. Fighting through pressure. He sets to fire deep. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. He was trying to get that to Edwards and Lair out of the backfield. That'll bring him second down. Incomplete. Going to the air. Tug of Iloa. 
And he comes back with one complete. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. At the 34-yard line. Here's Tua. That's caught over the middle. Hooper. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Hooper. A gain of four. It's now second and six. Tua setting up shop to throw again. Looking middle, and that's complete. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work, and that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. Two and a throw again. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Intended for Jacob Hollister. Incomplete. Back to the air on second down. Tongue of Iloa. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. Akeem Hicks. What a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. It's third down. Super Bowl 55 down to the final two minutes. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now a desperation throw deep downfield and unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. And that is incomplete. Tunga by Lewis. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that They're down to none. Yes, exactly right. And now out comes Houston. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They run it again with Williams. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what'll be an important third down. They run, it's Mark Ingram. And he is gonna have the first down and that is gonna suck the life right out of this crowd. The Giants gonna burn their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And they'll indeed take a knee. Ball at the 24 and a second and 11. Now carry number 20 of the game. Here's Williams. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. 24 yards. And the Texans will add on to their lead. Well, there's just about a minute left in this game, and they're still taking it to the end zone. And you know they could have taken a knee there, but they decided to play this one all the way out. And I think their philosophy is, we're going to give you everything we've got. If we just go ahead and take a knee now, we're actually showing you disrespect that way, like taking pity on you. They're not about to do that to their opponent. Boswell for the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. So that drive spanned five plays. And it was Jamal Williams who ended things with a touchdown run. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Mostert now to return. And able to get this out to the 25. Take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. 
New York ready to go again offensively. Those Super Bowl hopes that they had really dwindling now here in the fourth quarter. That NFC crown that they got two weeks ago seems like a distant memory as they have been outplayed tonight. Here's Tungavailoa on first and 10. And he'll look underneath here for Edwards Hilaire. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. I usually hesitate when I say a guy's got world-class speed, but this guy might. So let's fire the starter's pistol. Let's go. If you've got him, you've got to try and use it. A lot of anticipation with the ball in the air, but no incomplete. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. It's now second and ten. One final try for Tungavailoa. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. And the Lone Star State has a new champion. It's the Houston Texans, kings of the Super Bowl. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way, didn't have to face some adversity in the journey. And now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, they'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it. The Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. What a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gunn signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports.